We have a we have a question now from Ophelia out of Los Angeles. Ophelia, are you with us? I am. Hi, Jen. How are you? Good. Good. Go ahead. Dominic's listening. Hi, Dominic. I have a question for you. Um, I was wondering how common your experience is among other returning vets. Um, so could you repeat the question? Sure. How common is your experience among other returning vets? How common is my experience mm -hmm. among other returning vets? Um, yes. Honestly, I can't give you a definitive answer as to how common it is for um, all other returning vets. And um, I'm not going to speak in superlatives in an attempt to even give you a number on that. But um, I would think from the vets that I've, that I've spoken with, um, my fellow soldiers that have separated, you know, there's a lot of us that, have, that are experiencing some of these hardships. I see. Thank you, Dominic. Oh, yeah, well, thank you, Ophelia, for your, uh, your question here today, and, and Dominic, for your time as well. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Dominic, thank you for uh, your service to our country, and um, we're going to be hearing more of your story next week, as I understand. So we'll see you back here then. Okay, and thanks for your service also, Jen. Hey, no problem. <laughs> thanks, Dominic. We'll talk to you next week. All right, Jen. Now, to learn more about resources uh, for other veterans or our families um, struggling through the reintegration process, be sure to check out our Solutions tab on this site. Um, and when we come back from the break, we're going to be talking to an expert who has been in this line of work helping veterans through reintegration for the last 30 years. So stick around. We'll be back here in just a minute with more In Their Boots. Pastone, Okinawa, Incheon, Da Nang, Desert Storm, Baghdad. I stare at photos like these and I think about the men and women who never made it back and wonder why I did. Some vets wonder who was luckier. If you have days like that and they turn into weeks and months, there's something you need to do before they turn into years or worse. Call the National Veterans Foundation. There's always a vet by the phone to advise you on VA issues, help out with drug and alcohol problems, or just listen and really understand. I'm Dan Lauria. I was proud to serve my country during Vietnam, and now I'm proud to serve the National Veterans Foundation. We've been around for over 20 years. Since wars don't seem to be going away anytime soon, neither will we. You can count on it. War happens, and we must be prepared. They are fought on different soil, and for very different reasons. Each generation has and must push through their own. Through the generations, the same loyal breed has served for what was right. So come and join your brothers and sisters. Veterans, log on and find your local posts today.